Amen. Okay, again, my name is, uh, uh, good, good morning. Yeah, my name is Francisca, you know, uh, I am the redeemed of the Lord, the most an African woman, grace to make history. Yeah, history is what I make by telling people about the transatlantic slave trade. I welcome you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. This morning, after dressing up, I prepared a black coffee in a white cup. I couldn't tell whether my coffee was cold, warm, or hot because I was not just disturbed in my flesh, but in my spirit too. As I sat sipping my black coffee from this white cup, I couldn't help but to think about the whereabouts of racism, of faces of where the white skin skins the black skin alive. As I flipped through the pages of yesterday, I realized that today's racism is a byproduct of the transatlantic slave trade. A trade that saw millions of Africans being dragged away from their homes into a land they never knew. New and the old were taken to go work on the wild main sugar cane tobacco coffee plantations and reaching the wild main while popularizing the black folks. When these uh, Europeans came to Africa, they established three castles. Elmina Castle built by the Portuguese around 1482. Christian Bell Castle built by the Danes around 1661 and, and this very castle built by the English around 1664. These were to be export bases, first of all for uh, gold, ivory, spices. But as time rolled on like roll on, the reason for coming to Africa shifted to needing people. Why? Because Bartholomew, uh, Christopher Columbus around 1492 said he discovered the Americas. And that's why he established a can to bad coffee plantations. Establishing those plantations, the immediate human resource that could get their hands on to work for them were the natives of America, called the Red Indians. But these natives of Americans were not so strong compared to Africans. They died of European diseases like chicken pox, measles, influenza, killing most of them. To save the Red Indians, I mean the Native Americans from total extinction, then a Roman Catholic priest called Bartholomew de las Casas mooted the idea that, that Africans be enslaved, that the Africans should replace the Red Indians. These Africans, these Europeans coming to Africa, found Africans in the midst of tribal war. So in a moment of such cunning genius, they exploited the situation, realized that our people would need guns gunpowder for wolves. So they exchanged guns, gunpowder with human beings. They told them, we know that what you 